Okay, matzah peris mufazar. Again, this is green. Remember, it's a statement. And this green, you know, corresponds to this, so the children know that it's the same. So matzah peris mufuzarin, if he found scattered produce, that was, uh, he, and again, we're very big on visual aids. They found, uh, somebody found grain that was scattered. The mission of the, we said previously that we're allowed to keep it. And we ask a question, a she'ela, a question, kama, how much does it have to be? How much a uh, lost object and how far should it be scattered before a person can keep it? Okay, so that's the question. And the Gemara has a tshuva, a, a, a response to that. And Rabbi Yitzchak says, Amar Rabbi Yitzchak, Rabbi Yitzchak says, uh, uh, Kav, uh, sir, okay, look at that. Um, this is, okay, tshuva is the answer to the question of the she'ela that we had previously of Kama, how much it was. And the tshuva to that is, it's a Kav, a certain amount, uh, uh, an amount, this is, those were terms that they used in, in the days of the Gemara. The Arba Amos in four cubits and four Amos. Now, again, here's another, another way that a program like this comes in helpful. Uh, the assumption is that you know what a Kav is, how they measure things, and, and what Arba Amos is, how, how, what four Amos Arba is for. So, just the, again, another visual aid, Rebbe actually took this in his hand and showed what a kav would be, what that size would be today, and explained what an ama is, that an ama was a measurement, and it went from a person's elbow to the tip of the, their middle finger, and that was the size of an ama, and we actually took, look, look how this helps clarify just a discussion that a, a teacher, a Rebbe has with a student, with a Talmud, by just making it more practical. So again, the questions, and this is just, by the way, this is just one line of Gemara, okay? This is just one line of Gemara. So it, the question is here, Kav Ba'ar Ba'amais, remember we started, we asked initially, the question was um, in the Mishnah, I mean, previously we said that he, if he found scattered fruit, right? If he found scattered, scattered produce, He's allowed to keep it. And the Gemara says, how much does it have to be and how far does it have to be scattered? And, um, and we answered, okay, and then he responds, the Kama was a Sheila, was a question. And he answered, um, the Tshuva, the answer to that is Kav, a measurement, the Arba Amas and four Amas. Now, you could make the argument that you don't really need to know exactly what it is, but how much more does it help you <clears throat> if you actually have a Coke bottle to show you, you know, what, what that size would be. And people can visualize it better. An ama is a hand. And this actually, um, Rebbe laid out the size of what four amas would look like in correspondence to his hand. So it gives kids a sense of that if the grain is scattered over such a large amount, uh, the owner who dropped it is not likely to have made a fuss about it and therefore would, would wind up giving up hope, which we call Yish, being Miyayish, and then he would, um, he would, the other one could keep it. Okay, now these are, uh, 